Hello, this is Fari Murray 7. I'm going to show you how to get full sync in the mission on Johnson's Trail. Now the first constraint you have to fulfill is to stay below notoriety level 2. And this should be easy. If you're already starting the mission, with incognito, then it should be very easy to not get over to notoriety. It's almost impossible to not collect notoriety during this play sequence. You will collect at least one notoriety, but it should not be a problem. Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. I need to get away from here. You all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you an ale, but uh, I'm expected somewhere else. And then after that, there should be a town crier right next to you, so you can bribe him to reduce your notoriety back down to incognito. And then from then on, head straight for that little dot on the map. Do not start any fights with anyone, otherwise your notoriety will increase and you'll lose your full sync. Because you still need to keep your notoriety down at this point. I'm going up the side of the wall because there's a blockade of guards down there that's guarding the way. And they'll you'll get into a fight if you try to go through that line of guards. So it's easiest if you climb over and drop down on the other side. And then after that, you will go into the building, do all the conversations. I'm not going to show all the conversations in this video. And then after that's all done, exit the building, and now you no longer have to keep your notoriety down. You can get as high notoriety as you want at this point, and it will not affect your full sync. So, at this point, feel free to go around and get all those tax collectors. Or you can start on the powder kegs, if you like. Remember to click the purple buttons at the top of the screen to skip ahead to the part of the video that you want to watch. Now, when you decide to do the tax collectors, uh, there may be other guards standing next to them, so if you get in a fight with tax collectors, then that means you're going to have to kill everyone. Now, you need to, uh, you need to kill at least three groups of tax collectors in order to, uh, complete the mission. So just keep that in mind. And also, when you find yourself facing off against some of the tougher guards that kind of block your attacks and stop you from countering, when you fight them, you don't want to do a direct counter on them. You're going to want to either press the A button to break the defense, or uh, you can parry when they attack, and then instead of countering, you can do a disarm. Disarms work, especially on the Hessians. You want to do a disarm. Now, 
after you kill a group of uh, guards, your notoriety will probably be pretty high. So you're going to have to, you're going to want to reduce your notoriety so that you won't get stopped every couple of minutes just because you get into a fight. Now when it gets time to face off against the guys who are guarding the powder kegs, it's actually pretty easy. <laughs> to do the powder keg to destroy smuggled cargo, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the stack of cargo right there, but you have to look around and find a powder keg. It's just a small tiny little barrel and it glows white when you look at it. You have to pick it up and then carry it over and place it right next to the cargo. Put it down and then back up and then you have to shoot the barrel with your gun. And that's it. You've done one of the uh, powder keg constraints. There's just two more and they're very very easy. <laughs> You just find a powder keg laying next to the cargo and then shoot it. This keg is already sitting next to the cargo, so I just have to pick it up and carry it over there. I can simply shoot it. And then after that, there's just one more cargo that you gotta destroy. Most of these cargos have more than one powder keg laying around. So if for some reason you end up messing up with one of the powder kegs, you can just look around and find another powder keg and then try it again. Another important thing to note is that one of your constraints uh, is that you have to limit your firearm use to six shots. So when you're doing your fighting, um, try not to use your gun unless it's absolutely necessary, which it usually isn't. You can usually be able to use your hidden blade or your sword to do your fights, and it's okay. But uh, you will need to use your gun at least three times to destroy these powder kegs. So, that's three. So you can use your gun at least three other times and still get full sync. This video is part of TGN's One of the things you have to do in order to complete the mission is you have to uh, stop those guys from carrying the cargo. Now you can run into them like that, just like you did in the cutscene. And it'll be the same thing. You don't have to kill him, but I like to kill him anyway because I don't like him yelling at me. Thank you very much. Make sure you please like and subscribe. Make sure you check out my other videos um, on Assassin's Creed 3. And thank you very much for watching. This video is part of TGN's Way Movement, a career path in video. For more info, check out my channel or go to TGN.TV.